Professor Hallux's eye guide with the Association of British Dispensing Opticians. Ow! Ow! Nurse! I've just pinged an elastic band in my eye and it really hurts! What were you doing with an elastic band? It's that cool new way of making bracelets, you know, spoon bands? Well, I was testing a theory about whether I could make a whole outfit out of them and one's pinged off and hit me right in the eyeball. Oh, it's really, really sore. Deary me. Maybe we could pay a visit to Sally Specks. Good idea. She's a dynamic dispensing optician. Maybe we could get some facts for our new eye guide whilst we're at it. Well, it's good to know that your eye is going to be okay, Professor. Sounds like it was very painful. It was. Luckily, it seems that the eye is pretty amazing at healing very quickly. That's right. But it makes sense to look after your eyes as you only get one set. Have you got any tips you could share with us? Of course. I've actually got five great tips for looking after your eyes. Here's tip one. Number one, make sure you've got enough light. Your eyes contain many muscles, all working hard. If there's not enough light to see, those muscles can end up working much harder than they have to, and you could end up with eye strain or a painful headache. Always make sure you have a good strong light when reading or looking at things close up. Hey, well, I've got just the thing. My TurboWatt Sixillion Torch. Not that bright, Professor. Turn it off. They'll be able to see that on Mars. That's far too bright. In fact, that brings me to my second tip. You need to protect your eyes from very bright lights. And that includes the sunshine. Well, that suits me because I love wearing sunglasses. Check these out. They're in the shape of two enormous footballs. Crazy, huh? Um, they are very cool, Professor. But those are just fashion sunglasses. They came free with a magazine. If they're a toy or something just to be fashionable, then they're unlikely to have the right kind of lenses to protect your eyes. You need to check that your sunglasses protect your eyes against harmful UV rays. They'll need to be a good fit with nice big lenses too. Mm, Sounds less cool, to be honest. Don't panic. Sunglasses that give good UV protection can be just as cool. Even when you're wearing sunglasses, it's important that you don't ever look at bright lights directly, including the sun. They could blind you. Let's move on to tip three. Protect your eyes from germs. You might know that germs can get into the body through your mouth or up your nose or through cuts and breaks in your skin. But did you know that germs can get in through the eyes as well? So if someone did a big gloopy sneeze in your face, germs could get in through your eyes. Yuck! Yep. And although you can't always make sure you're not standing next to Snotty Sam or Sneezing Sarah, you can make sure you don't touch your face with dirty hands and don't give any germs a shortcut. Next tip. Protect your eyes from objects, dirt and grit. If you're playing a sport or enjoying a hobby where things tend to fly around... Sounds familiar. All right. Like spoon bands, you mean? Yes. Think about wearing goggles. These are large, plain glasses that fit over your own glasses or just over your eyes and act like a barrier. You can also prevent dirt and grit from getting into your eyes by keeping your hands away from your face. It isn't just uncomfortable. Like the professor found out, it can actually damage the delicate tissues too. Yes, and it really, really hurt. What's number five? Last tip. Have regular eye checks with an optometrist so any eye problems can be spotted and treated early. Thanks, Sally. That's super helpful. All that information about how to look after our eyes can go into the eye guide. Let's get it uploaded. Processing data. Upload complete. Oh, before you go, Professor, have you got time for a further quick fact for the eye guide? I don't see why not. Well, did you know that the average person blinks 12 times a minute every single minute that you're awake? In one day, that could be as much as 9,000 times. Because it's a reflex action, that's one that your body does all by itself. You mostly don't even realise you're doing it. That's incredible! Both eye-watering and inspiring. Professor Hallux's Eye Guide with the Association of British Dispensing Opticians. Find out more and get hands-on at funkidslive.com. <laughs>